The common mistakes people make when it comes to divorcing and the financial planning side of things is, for one, they don't like to talk to someone like myself um, because they've not had to do it before. They feel that they can deal with it on their own. They feel that they know all the ins and outs of the financial situation or they've just um, relied on the lawyer to tell them everything. And certainly a lawyer, or even if it gets the scenario of a judge getting involved, um, they don't necessarily know the financial implications of things, certainly for the future as well as the now. So um, to talk to someone like myself will then give you the better understanding of what your options are to really drill down what the assets are. Um, Because certainly with couples, do we discuss everything with our partners? And if you haven't been totally honest about what you've got there to open it up at the beginning of everything it makes it a lot clearer for both parties because if anything has been hidden it will come out eventually and the implications can be a lot worse than if we'd discussed it at the beginning certainly with the complications of when you split you you have your separate homes so husband and wife are now living apart but you've still got the children growing up and going through school university all these fees and costs will change in the future and does change and we found it with my husband his daughter's now 20 his son's 17 and so there is a thought of if if his son wants to go to university how's that going to be funded is that something we've got to look at will his ex-wife be involved in that as well um And they're important things to to discuss from outset, to consider from outset. It's not necessarily that you will have to put something in place, but it's having those discussions because you may feel that you do want to put something in place. Um, Certainly, protecting things like maintenance could be important to you because if anything happens to the partner that's paying maintenance and that maintenance stops... How, how would you keep going, going forward? So would, does there need to be a protection plan in place that will then pay out a lump sum to cover the loss of maintenance or an income protection that will cover the income that will be lost? So it's important to look at the whole situation to try and make sure that you think about as much as you can. We're not going to cover everything, but we try. And certainly from my point of view, with the personal experiences I've had, helps me look at those in a bit more detail and it helps helps me pass my experience over on to you to sit down with you and run through your situation having a look at your financial needs and um, i prefer to do it face to face but it can be a telephone call initially if you wanted to but if you're quite happy to meet me we can sit down and have a coffee chat wherever you'd like that to be um, if you're more comfortable in your own home that's fine if you prefer to meet in a cafe because you're unsure of who I am and what I do then that's also okay after having that initial meeting you will come away from it being more aware of what um what your rights are um what financial um situations we can look at how we can make it improve the situation for you um but also you, you'll have a confidence that you know where you're going with everything, knowing what your future can look like. I often have clients come into me who are concerned about talking to me because they're thinking, I haven't got any wealth. It's not all about the wealth. We discuss anything from what sort of debt situation you've got and what options you can have, giving you the information so that you know what your options are, giving you the confidence to know everything's not as bad as you think it is Um, knowing that you've got the support there to get through the situation and certainly if it is things like debts is knowing how we can deal with it because a lot of people have debts there that are not necessarily dealing with it in the right way that actually can make them financially better off in the future so it is sitting down and discussing the whole situation and some of it can be you've got money sitting in the bank and you're just leaving it there because you're scared of looking at any other options. So to know what the options are will just give you a different air of confidence when you come away from the meeting. So it's really important to speak to someone like myself about all of those options. Generally, the experience I've had from all of my clients in the past is it's a weight lifted off their shoulders. Even if we don't come to a solution at all it's just the thought that you've had someone to talk to someone that you can open up to and just talk about this is a financial concern to me I don't know what I'm doing and for me to just sit down understand what you're going through 
just takes that burden off of where you are and what you're doing.